This video is all about Korean side dishes, or in Korean, banchan. Banchan is typically served with many different things in Korea and usually set in small portions to be shared amongst the table. There are hundreds of different banchans included in the Korean culinary canon, and many of which I have probably never even tried. All said, I have been eating Korean food since I was a little kid and I don't know, over the past 20 years or so, have had the pleasure of enjoying many different banchans that I really like and I'm sure you will too. It was tough to narrow down the specific banchan that I wanted to share in this video. I ended up choosing four that I really enjoy and that I think would be accessible to those of you not maybe lucky enough to live near a Korean grocery store. Though there are still a few staple ingredients that might be considered specialty, but you can totally just order those online. I'll provide links below. Anyhow, why don't we start with Le Pickles? So, as mentioned, the term banchan covers a huge number of different dishes. The banchan served at any Korean meal vary from house to house and, of course, depend on what's in season. Banchan can range from fresh vegetable salads or braised meats to pickled and preserved things known as mit banchan. These pickles that we're making could be thought of as mit banchan because they are preserved, can be made in bulk, and left in the fridge to be called on whenever you want something punchy and acidic. For our pickling vegetables, we'll need some Korean radish, or a daikon radish works well too, a couple jalapenos, an onion, and some garlic. Peeling the radish is optional, but I like to do it. Once peeled, slice the radish into rounds, then into quarters. Then slice the jalapenos into thick rounds, and same for the onions. Same thing. Basically, not even a large dice, like a colossal dice. And yeah, don't worry about making any of these cuts perfectly. It doesn't make a difference. These are pickles after all, so no need to flex with that perfect fine dice here. I actually prefer these pickles on the bulkier side to keep some body and crunch. For the pickling liquid, drop in equal parts soy sauce and vinegar, then some sugar. I'm using a light soy sauce, which is thinner and saltier than dark. For the acid, I've chosen rice wine vinegar, but any white vinegar should do the trick. Bring that pickle liquid up to a boil, then let it ride for two or three minutes. Then cut the heat and transfer our chopped and screwed veg to any resealable jar and pour the hot liquid onto the vegetables. No worries if the pickling liquid doesn't make it all the way to the tippy, they'll be just fine. I like to flip the jar after I pour in the liquid to help the jar seal up a little better. Then you can pop these directly in the fridge. In my opinion, they're best after two or three days of sitting. Okay, so for the other three banchan, we're gonna make a master dressing and sort of coat all different vegetables with them. I'll show you, but this is what I'm gonna use, right? Okay, hold up for a second, let me explain myself here. When I was researching and recipe testing for this video, I found that many of the banchan that I wanted to make were extremely similar in ingredients and ratios. Other than one or two components, these dishes were essentially twins, so to simplify the process without compromising flavor, I decided to make what I call a master dressing. This master dressing is meant to streamline the things that we need to make these upcoming three banchan with ease without fussing over adding or taking away a few grams of, you know, sesame oil or gochugaru. Okay, anyways. So soy sauce, sugar, rice wine vinegar, toasted sesame oil, toasted sesame seeds, and gochugaru, which is a Korean chili flake. Okay, so all we really need to do now is mix all of these goodies together, and that'll be our flavor base, aka master dressing. This super red stuff that you're seeing is called gochugaru. It's a very important ingredient in Korean cuisine and made from sun-dried hot peppers. It comes in all coarseness varieties and is used to make things like kimchi and gochujang. Oh, and another very important piece to this master dressing is garlic, so don't forget that. Mince it up and whirl it in when you're done. These next three banchan are going to be similar in the sense that they're all cold, crunchy salad type things. Don't worry, though they're all coated in the same master dressing, they'll still have individual nuances uh, because it's a fact that scallions don't taste like cucumbers. Let's start with the bean sprouts. We need to blanch them in boiling water for a minute or two until they're tender and then shock them down in an ice bath. The ice bath stops them from cooking and keeps them nice and crunchy. These sprouts are great. They're like long, tangly rods of crisp, earthy bean. They're refreshing in the perfect sidecar with rice. Just get a load of that crunch. Remove the sprouts from the cold agua and toss them on a paper towel to drain off. Next up, scallion salad. This technique is a good one to learn regardless if you're gonna use it to make this dish or not. First, clean up the scallions or green onions, or grunions, whatever you wanna call them. Then slice them thin vertically and place them in an ice bath. This ice bath does two things. One, it sort of curls the scallions up to make them all voluptuous and beautiful and uh, 
curly and just nice looking for when you toss them in the dressing. And two, it sort of diffuses some of the oniony, garlicky uh, flavor so that you don't have dragon breath all afternoon. After 10 minutes or so, drain and dry the scallion slices and set them aside. These scallions go great in other salads and double as a burger or sando topping. Just get creative. This next one is sort of famous. I hear people touting its greatness whenever I go out to Korean food. Spicy cucumber salad. You can slice your cukes however you'd like, on the bias, in thin rounds, etc. As you can see, I prefer mine in chunks. And if you can't already tell, I really appreciate a crisp, snappy banchan, so it's chunks for me. Then, cut up a single scallion and toss it in with your cucumbers. Okay, so now we have all our banchan vegetables prepped and ready to be dressed up for the big night. Grab that master dressing that we made earlier and divide it up among the three vegetables. A little on the cukes, the sprouts, and lastly the scallion salad. These three salad type banchans are meant to be eaten fresh, so if you're making this ahead of time, store the dressing and the prepped vegetables in the fridge, then dress them right before you want to eat them. It'll help the vegetables keep their spunky, crisp texture. It's optional, but hit the sprouts with a dash of fish sauce for a little umami slap if you'd like. That's it, you did it. Grab yourself some small bowls and divvy out the banchan. Let's get a closer look at our work here. I have some of these pickles that I made a few days prior. The vegetables stay crunchy, take on a punchy, bright flavor, and infuse that soy liquid to make something new and delicious, which makes for an awesome vinaigrette, just, just saying. And of course our triplets, the refreshing, crunchy, spicy salads. I really hope that this video gets you excited about banchan and makes you hungry for more. But really, the idea behind this video was to make it to supplement my Korean barbecue at home video. In that video, I'll go over how to sort of bring a restaurant quality Korean barbecue experience to your house. Or at least get really damn close. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, be sure to peep that. Also, I post my day-to-day -day shenanigans on my Instagram page. If you want to see me make a fool out of myself on the internet on a different platform, be sure to peep that too. I really hope that this video was helpful, and if it was, I would really appreciate if you showed me some support with your thumbs. And lastly, sub to the channel if you are new here and don't already want to punch me in the face. And we'll see you next week. Toodles.